Taurus, welcome in guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me once again for another love reading with myself, Joe. Before we get started, Taurus, um, if anybody's wanting to book a personal reading with me, then you can do so by sending me an email or a direct message on Instagram. Uh, please don't use the website. Um, it's about to go in to pause for a minute while I do some refurbishing. Uh, yes, Taurus. Let's get into your reading. Your first card is the sun. Then we have the nine of cups, the magician, king of cups, the moon and the temperance card. Okay, so Taurus, everything's looking pretty fine, pretty happy. Your inner child has come out to play. Okay, um, the sun, happiest card of the deck. Lots of joy. Yeah? Um, feeling even childlike. I, I want to say it's that childlike energy and it's also representative of the star sign leo okay so uh you could very well be connecting with a leo there's a wish that's coming into play here or perhaps you're waiting on this wish but I, I, I do believe that it's happening now um it, it's like you've got your wish the sun is a yes card as well may i add um and then moving on to the magician here now the magician can the magician can swing both ways, not swing like that, but I mean, it can be either the master manipulator or the master manifester. In this case, um, Taurus, um, I'm, I'm going to clarify the magician, but what I'm picking up from the magician today is that th this, it's like a person with two faces then. They definitely make you happy. Yeah, they do, and it could be an Aquarius. They definitely make you happy, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's like there's a whole new side to them. And I don't know if you've seen that side yet. Because we have the King of Cups and then the Moon. The King of Cups is somebody with a lot of emotions. A lot of feelings. Okay. Um, but then the Moon. The Moon is like secrets coming out. And I feel like this is more so the darker side of your person. Um, that you'll be seeing. Yeah. As I said, I will clarify that magician there. Let me know by the magicians here. And we have Ten of Wands, Responsibility. Mm. I'm going to go in for one more, please. One more for the Magician, please. Where's the Magician here? Yeah. We have Reunion, Three of Cups. And we also have the Hermit, Contemplation. Okay, this might be a person that's unsure. It's, it's like they come in with everything. They've got all the right tools. They've got everything that you require. They're ticking your boxes. Okay, but with this three of cups, it can be a reunion or it could possibly even be a third party situation. It could even mean that, that this person just wants to be friends. There's some, they're thinking. Contemplation, the hermit. That may be their shadow side. But perhaps they, they like to spend time alone. Perhaps they are currently dealing with their shadow side and are needing some time alone but this is i am getting that it's a shad mm, it's like a two-faced thing like you haven't seen this side of the this person it's shocking it's a revelation here and then we've got this sagittarius energy with the temperance card and that is wanting balance wanting even peace wanting the angelic feeling that happiness feeling back again back again so taurus it's looking though as if it's it's switching pretty quickly or you you recognize this very quickly yeah tell me more about taurus is a person tell me more about taurus is a person here we go see it there we've got the seven of swords king of swords one more for taurus's person please eight of swords so absolutely there's something you're not seeing and i did ask about your person and it is just showing me that your person um does have some sort of sneaky ways or sneaky behavior there uh, there are some things or something they are trying to get away with here something more than likely they will keep it to their cells with the hermit and then we've got the king of swords and this is air energy gemini Gemini, Libra or Aquarius even, but I'm more uh, le leaning towards a Gemini character there. And this could be the third party in your current situation, but you're trapped. It's almost as if you're stuck in your thoughts, okay? Your thoughts are here. So it's hard for you to see that shadow side. The truth's going to be revealed to you 
regardless. It's up to you what you do with the truth here, Taurus. So yes, the Eight of Swords, it's like a mental prison. Feeling trapped, feeling stuck, feeling bound to a situation. Yeah, it's, it's It could be a thing of where you've already uh, committed to this, to this person, and now you're feeling stuck. Let's have a look. What's the outcome here? Outcome. Six of wands. Mm. It's a victory. Perhaps you see everything you need to see. Victory. Outcome for Taurus, please. <clears throat> outcome for Taurus, lovely. And we have judgment and we also have the ace of cups so it's a victory and however this victory plays out for you because i'm i'm not going to say to you that it's a victory to where you get with your person everything's hunky drawy because it's not looking that way there's lots of judgments passed lots of somebody's got a lot of love here in this situation but i'm not quite sure if the other person does there's many secrets there's things that are hidden yeah and perhaps this victory for you is that it gets out into the open it is that you do see the truth before you make this commitment and take your love elsewhere <laughs> yeah um moving on to your oracle let's see what the oracle has to say for you to us wow do bear with guys friend the cards everywhere right okay what does the oracle have to say for Taurus today, what's the advice for Taurus? Advice for Taurus, please. And we have Elizabeth and the Lion. It is time to become a great leader. Take the lead and take the control of your life. Put your crown on. And do what needs to be done. You're loyal to yourself. The loyal lion. Maintain that loyalty to yourself. Yeah? Find the victory within yourself. Um, I, don't, I don't know, but I, I think we should just be careful what we wish for here. Because perhaps this is a person that you wished for, you really wanted to be with, and then you got there and it's like, okay. I'm going to get you one more advice card. And we have Beauty and the Beast. You need some space in a relationship. It's looking very much so. To analyse and understand what's really going on. And understand your own feelings. Make sure your thoughts are your own to begin with. Yeah? But Taurus, that has been your reading. Thank you once again for tuning in. Um, take what resonates. Leave whatever doesn't. Do not force anything to fit with your situation. Tarot is guidance. It's up to you what you do with this guidance. It does not replace any medical or professional advice. Have a wonderful day, Taurus, and take care. Until next time.